so it 1000% does not feel like spring. And if you're wondering why my footsteps are even crunching louder than normal, it's because there's a layer of ice on top of the snow. But even though I didn't see it myself, my son swears that there was a chipmunk this morning getting seeds. So if that's true, then that is usually what I consider to be the first official sign of spring. And that and the fact that I think I'm getting a spring cold from running around without a coat on because it's above freezing. So of course you run around without a coat on when it's above freezing, right? But thankfully, and I'll probably pull it out and show it to you later on tonight, I bought what, for I think a lot of people in Michigan, at least people that are around my age, who grew up in the, the 70s and 80s, and possibly even before that, I bought myself some of Michigan medicine which is a Verner's ginger ale. So, I will probably pour myself that. I remember when I was a kid, if you got sick, at least in my house, you always ended up getting Verner's. Which if you've never seen Verner's, you can probably get it because they were bought out by Pepsi. So I think you can get them nationwide now. You just might actually have to ask your grocery store. But they're really, really good. Like, I know a lot of people go crazy for Canada Dry. But having grown up with Werner's, that is what I prefer when I can get it. Even though after Pepsi bought them, they kind of changed out the... Something became different about it. But it's still really, really good. And for some reason, I feel like Werner's is more carbonated than most pop. It always seems extra fizzy to me when I drink it. And if I pour myself one tonight, it will be the first time I have had a pop or a soda or a Coke or whatever you want to call it in like three years. So I'm still kind of wondering if it's going to be worth it. I guess I'm just kind of afraid that if I have one, it's going to uh, make me want to have them forever again. And it took me a while to wean off of soft drinks. So, I don't know. Anyway, thoughts on a walk to the mailboxes. That's what you get as it snows on us. It's always exciting, isn't it? Not that there's much mail. But it's always good to get your mail. At least a couple times a week. <laughs> anyway, hopefully my plants will start growing well. And hopefully you guys are all doing good. I think I have a project that I am going to do this week that I might try to film. And that is a couple years ago I found this old window that I don't even know what it was actually for, like what sort of a building it went to, because it doesn't match any of the windows in the house. And I painted it with the uh, mirror paint on the glass, and then I kind of did this weird metallic silver and uh, white and blue on the frame. And I was thinking I might paint I don't know, like little vines or something on it, and then hang it on the wall. The problem with the mirror paint is it's not like super reflective, but just as something on the wall, it might be pretty. I don't know. But I thought about doing that. There's also another mirror that I found in the basement that's one of those that's kind of really old and really silvered. 
and I think I want to clean it up, do something with the frame, like some sort of painting or something, and just hang it up as a wall mirror. I think originally it was either on a vanity or like a headboard or something. But I think if I get it cleaned up, it might be really pretty just up on the wall. And I am having far too much fun trying not to fall. Um, <laughs> I'm having far too much fun doing like my little arts and crafts type things. So I'll probably keep doing that. Anyway, no birds came for food today. At least not right now. But as you can see, Even though a couple days ago it felt like spring, it's feeling like winter again. But that is about all I have for you today. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. And I'll talk to you later.